Operations with matrices. Multiplying a matrix by a scalar. You will find this on page 561 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Multiplying a matrix by a scalar. To multiply a matrix by a scalar, that means a single number or constant in front of the bracket, like that one. We multiply every element in the matrix by the scalar. The process is known as scalar multiplication. So if you look at this example, they want you to work out 4P minus 3Q. So first rewrite it. So in the place of P, put the matrix. There is the matrix. Let's just get the highlighter. And in the place of Q, put the matrix. Now you start multiplying. 3 times 4 is 12. Three times, uh, 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 0 is 0. 3 times 7, 21. 6, 27. A negative times a negative will be a positive. So there is a printing mistake. Okay, now I see. I, I was keeping the negative here. Can you see that? So then just say 3 times 2. So otherwise I should have made that a positive. So leave it 6. And then this, so leave first the sign. Just multiply the 3. 3 times negative 4, that's negative 12. And 3 times 6, 18. Now I'm going to do the subtraction. 12 minus 21, it's going to be negative 9. 12 minus, and now the negative, now it becomes a positive. Okay, so if I say 8, it's actually 8. 8 plus 6, that's 14. So this negative 4 and negative 6 is negative 10. 20, my, okay, this becomes a positive, a negative times a negative. So it's 20 plus 12, which is 32. And then 16 minus 27, which is negative 11, and 0 minus 18, it's going to be negative 18. Okay, stop the video and do try now 7, number 2A and B. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number 2A. Let A be this and B be find, okay, 3, now it's 3, but first it's A plus B. So let's just subs do substitution in the place of A. I put, okay, I'm going to put bigger brackets, 5 and 3. And in the place of B, I put negative 4 and 2. Okay, and if I do th simplify this now, I can basically first add this and then multiply the 3 or do it individually. But I think I'm going to do it by first adding up. So 5 plus negative 4 is 1. 3 plus 2, that is going to be 5. And now 3 times 1, it's 3. And 3 times 5, that's going to be 15. And that's my final matrix. Okay, then um, number 2B, find 3A plus 3B, okay, so in number 2B, it's going to be 3A plus, okay, I'm going to just use another color, and I'm going to move up a little bit, okay, so it's going to be number B, and that's 3A plus 3B. So, let's just do substitution. 3a, it's 5 and 3. 3b, it's negative 4 and 2. Okay. And then, I'm just going to, 3 times 5, it's 15. 3 times 3, it's 9. 3 times negative 4, it's negative 12. And 3 times 2, it's 6. And if I simplify, 15 minus 12, that's 3, and 9 plus 6, that's 15. And what, okay, I have to do C also. I didn't include that, but I want to. If K is a scalar, what is the relationship between this and this? So it's actually this one represent this one, and this one represent. But if you look at the answers, they are equal. So therefore, and I'm just going to put it in red, I can say K 
A plus B will be equal, equal to K A plus K B. Because can you see the answers um, are exactly the same.